Hey Catalyst Women, I am Danielle Wingate, one of the founders, and we are so excited to be coming to you today with our first live video feed, and I am excited to introduce our other co-founder to you. Hello everyone, women of change. I am Morgan Campy. I'm also one of the founders, as Danielle said, and um, I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, where Danielle and I met many years ago, and so I'm just so excited to finally get to um, share our beautiful faces with you. Yes, yes. And I'm actually in Seattle now. And so we're on opposite sides of the country. Um, but uh, just to give you some backstory, we kind of teamed up several months ago and just decided we wanted to do something. We wanted to, um, you know, just add encouragement, add uh, elements of truth that inspired change. And so um, just as best friends, past roommates, we decided to team up and journey through this together to figure out what it looked like. So um, a fun fact, uh, Morgan, if there is one thing maybe about our friendship that you think of that maybe sums it up what would it be well definitely friends the tv show <laughs> when we lived together um it that was a point of refuge for us it was a point of just relaxation times where we would come together to watch. We had parties themed in Friends where you dressed up as Janice in all of your leopard attire. <laughs> and you were Joey in all of Chandler's clothes doing lunches. Could I be wearing any more clothes? Yes. Um, it's, it, that is definitely part of it. We've may, had plenty of conversations to say, oh my gosh, remember that time in Friends or on that episode? So it's, that is definitely um, one of the foundations or pillars of our friendship. Oh man, I think of that. And then one of my other favorite memories is um, I feel like all of our life conversations happened either sitting on our kitchen countertops or on the floor. Even though we had like great furniture, you did an amazing job decorating our place. And we just always ended up on the floor and it was like, always. we have this nice furniture. Why don't we sit on it? <laughs> right. Uh, but no, man, there were so many like just good talks and it was such like a good defining season for both of us. I'm um, just journeying through seasons of singleness, seasons of dating and uh, career changes. Um, and honestly, I mean, now that we're saying all that, maybe that's even where that seed for Catalyst Women got planted um, in my heart because I just realized the value of having strong women around you that are willing to love you for who you are, but speak truth and hold you accountable to the dreams that you have maybe haphazardly professed at some point to say, hey, what about, um, you know, and I think that's exactly what you, you, you have done for me. Um, so thank you for that. You're welcome. Um, and you know, as I just keep thinking about Catalyst Women, I think that is my, my biggest heart uh, for um, just this mission, everything that we're embarking on um, would just be to create a safe place that women um, can celebrate who they are and their God-given callings, but also then to be encouraged in uh, the seasons. Um, one of our favorite hashtags that we use is that there's purpose in the process. And so just to know that, um, that there is no season that God wastes that goes unused and just to offer um, a perspective change of hope and encouragement as we're all journeying through and a reminder that we, we all need strong women in our corner that are supporting us and championing us on um, because uh, we live in a tough world and we need godly women who are gonna rise up and be willing to like go to bat for their marriages, for their friendships, for their kids, um, for the community, even if it's a, work, a workforce community. Um, so one of the things I think I am most excited about, aside from getting to keep learning these stories and just um, being part a little bit of these women's journeys, is uh, really starting to dream about the next season for Catalyst Women. And for me, I think that looks like starting to put um, feet really to the vision and action maybe to the heart. And so um, we're dreaming about what that looks like to really engage groups of women and give opportunities of serving or, um, you know, give back challenges. And so um, I'm just, I am just so excited about that. Um, what about you? What, um, what's been one of your favorite things about being part of the Catalyst Women team? And what are you most excited for? So I would say definitely getting to meet, meet women that we're featuring. Um, in the early days when we were kind of building our 
our base or database of, of women who inspired us, um, just getting to research women and write their stories through a catalyst lens. That was really, um, really life-giving for me. And then getting to meet women, sit down with them in person or have, you know, video calls with them to hear their hearts, hear their stories and just get to journey through it with them and, and sit and be a part of um, them telling things maybe they've never shared before. Yeah. Um, True. So that has definitely been something that is one of my favorite parts and will continue to be one of my favorite parts. I love getting to build relationships with people and us getting to be encouragers and um, agents of conviction at times or um, inspirational people for women, women for women. That just continues to be something that blesses me and in, in the process um, blesses them as well. So that's really something I, I look forward to. And Continu continuing on what I'm excited for and what I believe is just one of the biggest pieces of catalyst is the ripple effect that we're creating. Um, seeing how going to a woman saying you, we believe you to be a change agent through a catalyst woman lens, catalyst women lens. And we want to share your story. And through that, there could be one person who's touched or one, one person who shares with their small group of 10, um, or who shares at the, in the break room, you know, during their lunch at work one day, and there's 15 people listening, like whatever, regardless, we're continuing to create some kind of ripple effect. And one of the other hashtags that we use is be the change. And that's what we're doing is creating a community who, where that conversation is, is, impactful and where it's alive that we're continuing to for people to know that they are change agents that god has put something yeah. specific in them that they have purpose in in this process and we just get to be the vehicle we get to be the avenue and that is what i'm really looking forward to that's so so good um well one of the fun things that we get to share with you guys is we just completed our first live video recording um, of an interview and so we will be sharing that with you in the weeks to come and it was just it was so good it was just so good so um anyway that is there's just a lot of uh big dreams, honestly, on the horizon. And we just are so excited to be journeying with you guys through this and uh, just love getting to do this and spend time. So anyway, have a fantastic week. Keep following along, keep sharing. And uh, just a reminder, hey, you get to choose to be a Catalyst woman. Have a good day and we can talk to you soon. Bye.